Hi everyone, my name's Tina and I'm from the Homeschool Mountain Mama and I just wanted to introduce myself. This is a new channel. I had a blog but um, the um, website that I was using for my photos decided to charge me per month and I don't make any money off my blog and um, so it wasn't worth me having it. So anyways, I started this channel and um, it's all about homeschooling and I might throw some other things in there as well but mainly about homeschooling. A um, little bit about myself. I have three boys and I live in the mountains of West Virginia. And my two oldest boys have graduated already. So I only have one more at home and he's 14 and starting the ninth grade this year. Um, so we might as well go ahead and get started. Number one, um, there, well, there's five tips that I want to give you if you're thinking about homeschooling. And number one would be to ask yourself why. Please excuse my dog barking. I don't know what she's barking at. Um, and what I mean by that is if your children have never been in the public school system, um, it's a little bit easier to start homeschooling because you have nothing to compare it to. Um, but if your children are in the public school system, you need to ask yourself why you're pulling them out and why you decided to homeschool. Um, if the reason is you're mad at a teacher or, and I've seen this, you, you might think this is ridiculous, but I've seen this. Um, parents are mad at a teacher, a principal, or a rule, or they're just mad at the school system in general. So they rip their children out of school they start homeschooling them and then they realize, oh my goodness, I'm in complete control of my child's education. What in the world do I do? And then they panic after the first year and put them back in. So definitely ask yourself why you're pulling them out and know that it's more than likely a permanent thing. Some people just pull their kids out and homeschool them for a couple years or start them out elementary homeschooling and then put them in for middle school or high school. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And that's something that you're gonna learn on my blog is that homeschooling isn't for everyone. Public school, homeschool, private school, charter school, whatever school your ch children go to, that is your business. and your decision. You know what's best for your kids. There is no judgment whatsoever. I have a lot of close friends that when their chi children had reached the high school age, they put them in high school, in the public high school. That's fine. There, There's no judgment here. It's your business, your children. Um, but for me, I won't be doing that um, with my oldest. We had an issue with him. Um, he was in eighth grade and he wasn't listening and we were fighting a lot and arguing and it was just a nightmare. So I thought, you know what, I am just going to put him in public school. I'm done. So in ninth grade, we started him at the local public school and he did fine academically. He got a 3.6, 3.8, 4.0, um, one credit card, so, uh, credit card, <laughs> um, one report card. Um, so one semester, but, um, 4.0 grade point average. Um, all the way down to 3.6 is what I was trying to say. So he did very good academically. However, um, he was exposed to things that I he wouldn't have been exposed to otherwise. And, um, you know, well, I, I don't want to bash the public school system. It is what it is, and it just was not for me. And if I had to do all over again, I would have never put him in. I would have continued homeschooling and found a way to uh, make it work. So that's what I mean when... I'm not putting my kids in the public school. My middle one graduated um, all the way through. He's never been to public school in his whole life. Did two years of a university. And um, then my, my, my smallest one is 14. And he's just now starting high school at home. Um, and he won't be going to public school either. So anyways, so the, my point was ask yourself why you're pulling them out. Number two, know the laws of your state. Every state in the United States is free to homeschool. Um, you have the freedom to homeschool. However, each one has their own set of homeschooling laws. So if you don't know them, um, you know, ignorance isn't an excuse. If you're going to pull your kids out of public school, you need to make sure that you know the laws of your state so you can follow them correctly because if something happens and um, a truant officer comes to your door or if you get... Um, a court subpoena or something because you're not following the laws correctly that it's no one's fault but your own um, you can look at 
um, every state law in your state law on HSLDA. HSLDA is um, Homeschool Legal Defense Association. They're a group of attorneys that um, will represent you if you have a problem. And um, they have free information, like I said, um, on state laws of homeschooling. But you can also join. I have been a member from, from day one of HSLDA. It costs me $120 a month or a year. And if I have any question, I just call them. They answer me. Um, we've had run-ins with the school board, with our homeschool group the last couple years, and they sent letters to the school board saying, uh-uh-uh, that's not the law. You need to leave these people alone. That's a long story. I don't want to get into that um, right now. But in any ways, they will come to your defense. Um, if for some reason you have to go to court, um, they will help you in court. They will stand by your side and represent you in court, and it's it's no fee to you. Your fee is the $120 per year. So I highly recommend, it's not mandatory, but I highly recommend if you're going to homeschool, you join HSLDA. You can look them up and they have wonderful information online. Okay, um, so that was number three to definitely join HSLDA. Um, number four, get plugged into a local homeschool group. I'm not saying you have to be Miss Social Butterfly, take your children to all these events um, and all the co-ops and, and, and classes that they offer. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying get plugged in so you know um, when an event comes up. Um, with our homeschool group, we have events all the time and I probably go to like three a year, but it's only the ones that I want to attend. Now that I have um, a child that's 14, I don't need to go to um, a color art expo or um, a school supply swap or something like that. That doesn't interest us because, you know, we're past that stage. Um, but anyways, get plugged into a homeschool co-op um, or group, uh, support group. Um, and it's not just for the kids. It's for the moms too because there are plenty of times where I'm like, man, I, you know, I have this issue or I just can't get over this one thing. Like Johnny just cannot, he can't get his alphabet down or, you know, whatever the situation is. And talking to other parents, um, other homeschool parents, it can give you some ideas or advice um, and some tips. Maybe, you know, maybe what works for them will also work for you. Um, but number five is don't get all caught up in the homeschool curriculum hype. Don't go out and spend $800 on a one box curriculum the first year because you don't know what will work for your child. What might work for my one son, what did work for my one son did not work for my other son. So me buying a curriculum for this son, I did, I did hold um, that and pass it on to my next child, but if it didn't work, I'm not going to force it down their throat and try to make it work because of the money. I mean, if it doesn't work for them and, and they don't they don't like it, then I can sell it and buy something else. So what works for one person doesn't work for the other. So especially your first year, don't get caught up in that, you know, homeschool, big, huge box curriculum. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with those, but for the first year or two, you need to fill out your kids and, and, and see how they're going to be, um, if they're going to be hands-on learners or readers or, you know, you just don't know. Um, so those are the five recommendations that I have. And um, I guess take it for what it's worth. Um, this will be my 14th year homeschooling this year. I'll be starting my 14th year tomorrow. And it's been a long journey and it has not been easy. Um, if someone tells you, oh, homeschool your kids, it's so easy. No, it's not, but it's not difficult either. Um, it's not something that I wake up every morning and go, oh, I have to homeschool today. No, you need to make your homeschool fun and your homeschool is what you make it. Um, I find that if I'm to the point where I'm stressed out and I need a break, you just take a day off. Or when, the, especially when the kids were small, I would say, okay, grab your notebook, let's go outside. We're going on a nature walk. Let's write down the first five animals we see or let's identify some trees. I mean, just take a break. Um, but anyways, um, welcome to my blog. And um, if you like this video, 
give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel to um, please leave them below. I'm sorry for all that. I have a lot of distractions right now. I don't know. <laughs> it's just uh, it's just been one of those days. But um, anyways, thank you for watching and happy homeschooling.